Its performance and that of other satellites was predicted by applying natural laws which scientists have learned through the years. But instead, its energy is harnessed. So we can control the energy the atomic pile releases and make use of it. There is the promise that the energy of reaction... Through the direct control of the mysterious, unbelievably rapid movements of electrons, the United States has fashioned a guidance and telemetering network which unerringly records and transmits the most obscure findings about the environment of space. Electronics, too, is the heart of the data processing center. Material that would require thousands of hours to calculate is transformed into punched cards and fed into computers. To a large degree, it is information furnished by the data processing center which will decide the future course of manned space flight. The mathematics of analysis posed its own peculiar challenge. Unisphere had to be completed by April 1964. High-speed computers were used to solve the thousands of problems that would have taken years if attempted manually. As the data builds up, conclusions begin to emerge. Research began with a group of pests and the amount of a chemical needed to control them. What now have been established are margins of safety, the quantities other forms of life can tolerate without being affected. The final evidence comes from extensive trials in the field. To IBM went the job of designing, manufacturing, installing and maintaining the high-speed electronic computers, the largest and most complex computers ever built. To continue the production and revision of programs and to develop training methods for maintaining Air Force crews at high proficiency in the use of this system. Solving an average problem, the calculator performs 14,000 separate arithmetical operations a second. Magnetic tape is used to store data required in working out the solutions. More than two million digits can be recorded on a single reel of tape. The actual calculations are performed in the control unit, where flashing lights indicate the progress of the machine. The input information can enter the computer in several ways. It can be on punched cards. Or the input can be on magnetic tapes. Or magnetic disks. Information can also be given directly to the computer by typewriter. Or by drawing diagrams with a special pen. The computer converts information from all of these inputs into a form with which it can work. Every day, New uses are found for computers. 